Although, it seems like Manchester City will run away with the league, the top four race continues to heat up. With around 12 games left in the Premier League season, West Ham, to the shock of many, occupy a Champions League place. Hey guys, we talk football here, and today we look at if West Ham can finish in the top four. Back in August, if anyone had suggested that with a third of the season remaining, West Ham would be sitting fourth in the Premier League, they would have been cruelly mocked. The Hammers lost their opening two games at home to Newcastle and away to Arsenal, and the conventional thought was that it was to be another season with Premier League survival, the goal. But with just around 11 to 12 games left, West Ham occupies one of the four Champions League positions and only Leicester City and the two Manchester teams have better records than the Hammers. Yes, you heard that right. That means Chelsea, Liverpool, Everton, Tottenham, and Arsenal can only gaze upwards in disgust at West Ham's record of 45 points from 25 games. Central to West Ham's improvement is manager David Moyes. Moyes spent 13 years in charge of Everton between 2002 and 2013. During his time at Everton, Moyes gained a reputation for squeezing the best out of his players and as a manager with an eye for a bargain. However, it has been a tough journey for Moyes, with a few failed stints at different clubs such as Manchester United, Real Sociedad, and Sunderland. David Moyes seems to have finally found his club in West Ham United. Moyes has West Ham playing disciplined football, and there is a clear parallel with his Everton side Moyes molded during his 11 years on Merseyside. It is not a team designed to score many goals, but the team is still on track to score 60 goals this season. A tally West Ham have only exceeded once in the Premier League, and that was the 2015-2016 season with Dimitri Payet running the show. At the other end, West Ham has a shot at setting a club record for fewest goals allowed in a Premier League season. The one player who has stood out for me this season is Thomas Suchek, the Czech international midfielder. With 8 Premier League goals to date, he scores, he defends, he does it all. However, West Ham do not have an easy run from now until the end of the season. It started with a trip to Manchester City which they lost 2-1 and matches against Leeds United, Manchester United, Arsenal, Wolves and Leicester City are on the schedule between now and mid-April. There are also matches against Chelsea and Everton before the season finishes on May 23rd and despite losing to Manchester City 2-1, West Ham actually played really well and could have managed a draw out of that game should they have finished their chances. Jesse Lingard has also rediscovered his best form since moving to West Ham on loan in January. Lingard's revived form since joining West Ham has seen him chip in with 3 goals and 2 assists assists from five league games. Mikel Antonio has also been a key part in this West Ham run with seven goals and three assists so far this season. This West Ham team looks hungry. Declan Rice and Thomas Suchek set the tone by imposing themselves in midfield, while the return of Antonio after a hamstring injury offered West Ham a focal point in attack, giving the busy trio of Pablo Fornals, Jared Bowen, and Lingard space to scheme. I didn't expect David Moyes' side to keep this going. In fact, I don't think anybody did, West Ham fans included. They look like a real team with some very exciting pieces as well. As much as I have praised this heroic West Ham team, do I really believe they can finish in a Champions League spot this season? Probably not. They have some really tough games coming up so I do expect them to drop some points along the way. But a few big results against some of the tougher teams they are going to face from now to the end of the season and everything changes. But because it's been such a crazy season and West Ham don't have any European competitions to worry about, it could give them an edge. But let us know what you guys think. Can West Ham finish in the top four this Premier League season? Please be sure to like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you guys on the next one.